Finally, Graphene enters in the homes of people, or rather, in their garage. What until recently was still only an extraordinary product of the laboratories, has effectively now become a novelty that will revolutionize the world of bicycle enthusiasts. It happened thanks to the innovative intelligent tire system, powered by Graphene Plus, developed by Directa Plus together with Victoria Group, a leading manufacturer of bicycle tires. The founder and CEO of Directa Plus, Giulio Cesario, together with Rudy Campagne, president of Victoria Industries, were on hand to present it to about 60 of the most important specialized European magazines at Comunext, the science and technology park of Lomazzo, which houses one of the most important plants in the world producing graphene-based nanomaterials. The system has been successfully tested by sports stars in the last cycling season and is now available on the market. The intelligence of the system is rooted in, in the content of the graphene product, which acquires new properties that guarantee a performance that has never been reached before. The compound of these tires, in fact, becomes harder or softer in response to the needs of the rider. When the tire is rolling straight, the rubber becomes harder, offering the minimum rolling resistance. When the cyclist brakes or accelerates or turns corners, the rubber softens to give the maximum grip. With the ITS system, therefore, a single tire is able to offer greater speed, better grip, greater puncture resistance and more durability. The partnership uh, with Vittoria was a, a great and successful story. Uh, was developed starting from uh, a great uh, uh, opportunity I had uh, meeting with the founder of Victoria, Rudy Campagne, uh, almost eight years ago uh, in Chernobyl, in, in Como. He was interested in understanding about graphene. I was very interested in uh, starting to work with existing company in already existing markets, and uh, we decided uh, to, to try. It is a solution with no compromise because, thanks to the unique properties of graphene, the typical barriers of rubber can be removed. You are not required anymore to have to choose, for example, between speed and grip, or between puncture resistance and weight. I think it's magic, but graphene, is, as a non-scientist, I think it's magic. Uh, the applications are limitless. It is the fact that you go into nanometers, in microns, in, uh, in billions of a meter, in um, atoms. The fascination of graphene is that you enter in this essence of the material. And that's what's unique, because normally you put some stuff in it and you improve a little bit. But here you go really deep in the structure of the material. I think that is the incredible challenge of graphene, and the opportunities are enormous. The meeting of Lomazzo was also an occasion to deepen the discussion on other opportunities for application of the graphene product or Directa Plus. We are concentrating ourselves in, on four beachhead markets. The first one is, is tires, you know, but not just for bicycle. The next step will be in, in automotive. Then we are going to work in textile industry. We still have uh, very high uh, potential uh, uh, companies interested in testing our material. We are working in the environmental arena, uh, removing and depolluting water from hydrocarbons. And uh, uh, the last but not the least area is to work on composite material. We start to work with Vittoria. We're already also in this area on the market with Vittoria carbon fiber wheel. But the target is not to stay on carbon fiber, but to target the entire composite arena that is the 98% of the just 2% carbon fiber, carbon fiber market. In particular, it is also impressive how the use of graphene can have significant environmental implication on the water purification. A demonstration that took place in Lomazzo left the journalists literally speechless. Coming back to the ITS system, its performance is truly outstanding, and it was tested by an independent scientific laboratory, which evaluated its advantage 
in terms of 32 seconds on a stretch of 50 kilometers. Therefore, we believe that ITS system will leave a permanent mark on the next cycling season.